moderator. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Emo Hizam Ibrahim. I'm uh, going to present uh, together with Professor Dr. Nur Hasni Zainal Abidin uh, the, 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 the presentation entitled Optimizing Workplace Productivity in Malaysia. The Synergize Effects of Incentive Motivation and Working Environment. Uh, on this slide, uh, basically we're referring to this, uh, the significance of the second slide, please, uh, the intro introduction part of it. Uh, the significance of this uh, in this slide, uh, referring to the bridges, uh, the gap uh, in understanding the interactive effects of incentives, uh, motivation, uh, and working uh, environment on productivity in Malaysian workplaces. And it will going to provide evidence-based uh, conclusions to enhance uh, human performance and organizational success in Malaysia. And it also offer uh, the insights into how uh, these factors um, uh, uh, interact to influence human performance, expected outcomes. And the expected outcomes influence the performance of industry, uh, organizations, and companies in Malaysia. And recommendations will help enhance employee performance and ensure organization achieve, uh, achieve uh, their goals uh, to serve as a basis um, uh, for future studies on productivity in similar um, uh, similar uh, uh, industrial setups worldwide. And these findings contribute to the body of knowledge required to optimize workplace productivity in Malaysia, considering the unique cultural and economic uh, context. Um, just to share with all of you, eh, um, I think uh, the topic that uh, I would like to share with you um, I, uh, can you go to the first slide, Matt? To the first slide? Yeah. Um, and, and this topic, yeah, just to share with you, uh, will requ uh, requires uh, also the uh, literature review where, uh, go to the third slide, please. Uh, the third slide, where this uh, literature review uh, stated the limited research on combined on interaction, effects of incentive, uh, motivations, uh, and working environment in Malaysia. And this incentive design should consider work nature, organizational culture, and employee uh, characteristic, where this uh, incentive have a stronger effect when coupled with intrinsic uh, motivation. And um, at the same time, uh, referring to the favorable working environment in Malaysia, uh, manufacturing industry. And comprehensive approach uh, also exploring interaction effects is important for enhancing uh, productivity. Um, just sharing with you, uh, with this uh, uh, working environment uh, to the uh, to the uh, uh, literature review too, where when referring to the uh, COVID-19 response, uh, organizations sh uh, should change practices to improve productivity uh, during uh, the pandemic uh, Malaysian organization that provide uh, necessary uh, resources, support uh, and com communication channel, which is maintain productivity and employee well-being during COVID-19. And Malaysian organization can enhance uh, worker productivity uh, through evidence-based approaches, considering the interaction effects of incentive, motivation, and working environment while adapting to challenges posed by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, next slide, methodology. Uh, slide number four, which is methodology. Okay, um, uh, when referring to this uh, slide, 
This study employed a quantitative uh, and cross-sectional survey design to examine the relationship between incentive motivation, uh, working environment and productivity among Malaysian employees from various sectors. And the sample size of 300 was determined uh, using power analysis. Uh, certified random sampling was used to ensure representation of different subgroups of employees. And data was were collected using an online survey questionnaire uh, adapted from validated instruments. And the analysis included descriptive statistics, uh, reliability and validity assessments, correlation analysis, and multiple regression analysis using SPSS software. And the study adhere to ethical considerations such as um, informed consent, anonymity, and confidentiality, and obtain approval from the necessary institutional review board before commencing. Slide number five. Slide number five is about uh, to answer objective uh, number one, where based on table um, number one, the average uh, scores uh, suggest that Malaysian employee uh, generally have positive perception of incentive, which is the mean is 4.12, where standard deviation 7.79, while motivation is 4.25, while standard deviation is 0 0.72. While working environment, the mean is 3.98, where the standard, the standard deviation is 0 0.84. And while the productivity, the mean is 4.08, while standard deviation is 0 0.81 within their organization. It shows what? Motivation stands out as the strongest factor with the highest mean score and relatively low standard deviation, indicating a, a consistently high level of motivating or motivation among the employees. The working environment, although uh, looking at this uh, object, uh, the table one, uh, although perceived positively, shows the highest standard deviation suggesting a wider variation in employees' perception compared to the other variables. Uh, productivity levels align closely with the perceptions of incentive and working environment with a moderate uh, standard deviation indicating some variation in perceived productivity among employees. And the descriptive statistic reveal overall positive perception of incentive, uh, motivation, working uh, environment, and productivity among employees with motivation uh, being the strongest factor. However, there is some variation in this perception, particularly regarding the working environment. Slide number six. Uh, looking at this slide, it's about uh, uh, table number two, where the correlation analysis in table two yeah, uh, reveal significant positive relationships among uh, incentives, motivation, working environment, and productivity. The strongest uh, correlation is between motivation and productivity. We can see the relation R which is 0 0.51, and indicating that higher motivation levels are closely linked to increased productivity. And moderate uh, positive correlations exist between incentives and productivity, which is, we can see our, uh, our relations, which is 0 0.45, and working environment and productivity, which is relation 0 0.41, suggesting that improvements in these areas are also led to higher productivity levels. Slide seven. Uh, looking at this uh, table number three, yeah, this is one to answer the objective number two, 
Yeah, I would like to share multiple regression analysis and interaction effects. Uh, from this table, hierarchical um, uh, multiple regression analysis predicting productivity, it shows that model significance, the model explain a significant proportion of the variance in productivity, which R square 0.45 and the frequency 10 and 7, 8, 9, were the main effects after controlling for demographic. While you can see incentive here, yeah, uh, the significant is positive effect on productivity. When referring to the motivation, yeah, the significant positive effect on productivity. While working environment, yeah, we can also see that significant positive effect on productivity, yeah, which is interaction effect. Here we can see incentive plus or X um, uh, motivation. It shows there's a significant interaction suggesting that the impact of incentive on productivity is stronger when more employees are highly motivated. Uh, and in this table, incentive uh, and working environment, it shows that there is no significant, while motivation and plus a working environment is also shows from the table, not significant where implication for nation organization. And this implementation, strong incentive system, ensure high work motivation and maintain a conducive working environment and leverage the symbiotic relationship between incentive and motivation to maximize productivity. And from this table, the finding demonstrate, as I mentioned just now, a symbiotic relationship and non-linear effect of incentive and working environment on productivity in Malaysian setting. And therefore, organizations should focus on these factors, particularly the interaction between incentive and motivation to enhance employee productivity. Slide number eight. And looking at this, yep, um, this study uh, investigate the relationship between incentive, motivation, working environment, and workplace productivity in Malaysian organization. Uh, the finding revealed that employee yeah, uh, had a positive perception on these factors, and there was a direct pro proportional relationship with productivity. And multiple recreation analysis confirmed that uh, motivation was the most important factor, followed by incentive and working environment. The study also found that incentive played a direct role in enhancing uh, productivity and had an indirect impact uh, through uh, motivation and working environment. The practical recommendations uh, for me emphasize the importance of a holistic uh, approach to organizational processes considering the interactions of motivational, incentivized, and environment-driven drive, uh, factors. And the finding demonstrates a symbiotic relationships and non-linear effect of incentive, motivation, and working environment on productivity in the Malaysian setting. And therefore, organization should focus on these factors particularly the interaction between incentive and motivation to enhance employee productivity. As a conclusion, my, 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 my last slide, uh, which is the current study uh, explore the importance of incentives, motivation, working environment on working uh, productivity among Malaysian organization, revealing positive individual and collective impacts. The findings yeah, emphasize the importance 
of an integrated approach, including aligning incentive system with organizational objective and employee needs, fostering intrinsic yeah, motivation through job design and empowerment, maintaining and continuously monitoring and optimizing this factor. And despite limitations such as a cross-sectional design and productivity measurements using skills, the study provides a basis for designing targeted intervention and strategies uh, to improve workplace productivity in the Malaysian context. And by following this recommendation, Malaysian organization can develop comprehensive model for increasing workplace productivity, considering the combined influence of incentive, motivation, and working conditions, ultimately achieving the uh, sustainable performance and working satisfaction. Uh, satisfaction. With that, thank you very much.